Hello, welcome to the clinic. I'm just going to be dictating some initial notes here. Bear with me. So patient is 38 years old, here for routine cranial nerve exam of the nerves of the face. Also here for the ultimate ASMR experience. Medical history unremarkable. No recent viral infections or history of Bell's palsy or head trauma. So if you're ready, we have lots to cover today. Hope you find the experience very relaxing. First, I'm going to check your vision, as we always should. Cover your left eye with the palm of the left hand. Okay, and at this distance, just read the smallest row on the chart, won't you, can? Cover the other eye and read the smallest row there. Thank you. Okay, we're going to check the olfactory nerve first. So essentially, we have a smell test. Just want to cleanse the airways with this first scent and we'll use this between each sample so just clear the airways by inhaling there okay we have three samples for you to identify we have lily of the valley lemon fresh and cinnamon okay you can keep the eyes open Breathe in through the nose there, please. Excellent. And clear the airways with that. Move on to the second sample. Your response, please. Okay, breathe in through the nose. Clear the airways there. And we'll move on to the third sample. Breathe in through the nose again. Good. Okay, give yourself a moment there. Using the reduced Snellen chart at approximately 33 centimetres, patient achieved 6, 9 vision, right and left, will recommend side test with optometrist. Patient correctly identified Lily of the Valley, Lemon Fresh and Cinnamon during testing of olfactory nerve. just want to check your side vision as you're looking towards my nose I'm going to move one of my fingers point to the one that's moving please okay you're looking at my nose Just look off into the distance at one point. I'm just going to be performing the cover test, checking for any eye movements. If I block your view, keep looking straight at the distance point where it should be. Let's 
perform a cover test at near distance, I would like you to look towards the target here. Okay, we have butterfly there. Please look at the butterfly only. Simple test here. Let's make a look into the light, please. Visual fields with the finger test appears full. Cover test, distance and near appears orthophoric, confirmed with symmetrical corneal reflexes, performing the Hirschberg test. Okay, we're going to stick with the eyes a little bit more. To try and measure the pupil sizes using the semicircles here. Okay, so I'm just going to rest just against the forehead. Look into this eye, please. Into this eye. Okay, pupil reactions, we'll check the near, so I'll look off into the distance and I'll ask you to look towards a near target, look into the distance, now look at the maps, distance and the maps, just a different target, look off into the distance, now look at the blue ball, excellent. Look off into the distance again, just the light. Okay, I'm just going to touch the ultra-sensitive front of the eye with the cotton wool. It's not going to hurt. I just want to check the reactions. Look up for me, please. Keep looking up. Excellent. Pupil sizes in normal light conditions measure at 5 millimetres right and left, no evidence of an isochoria. Pupil light reactions normal, ipsilateral consensual present right and left, no evidence of a relative afferent pupillary defect. Corneal sensations are intact, right and left. Okay, so let's check your eye movements. Because there are a good few cranial nerves involved with such movements. Let's find a target for you to follow. I want the head still, and just the eyes that move, all right? Okay, keep your eye on the first balloon there, which is red, please. Okay. 
Okay, I would like you to look towards the face of the child there, please. Okay, so for ocular convergence, I'm going to use this device. I'm just going to rest this on the bridge of the nose. I'm going to show you a line with the dot. I want you to look towards the dot. Keep your eyes on that. Follow it as it comes closer. If the line goes into two, please report that to me. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to place this here. Okay, line and dot here. Follow the dot on the drum, please. Tell me if the line goes into two. Still single? Excellent. Eye movements appear full and smooth in the eight positions of gaze. No evidence of alva or undershoots. No signs of nystagmus. NPC using the RF rule reveals no diplopia. Target extended to nose. Okay, I need to have a look at your optic nerve by coming closer. Keep the light fairly low. Just look off over my shoulder into the distance. And I'll make some observations. The optic nerve, good. Just look into the light. Also checking the macula as well as your optic nerve. Okay, look off into the distance again. Okay, just keep looking straight if I'm in the way. And for your left fundus check, look into the distance. Look into the light now, please. Okay, macular assessment appears flat reflex. Lovely, thank you. That concludes the checks there for the optic nerve. Just going to check the function of the central vision area of the eye known as the macula. Cover the left eye with the palm of the left hand. Have a look at this grid please. Can you see the spot in the centre? Keep looking at the spot. As you're looking at the spot, can you see all four corners of the grid? As you're looking at the spot, do you see any distortion to any of the vertical or horizontal lines? Do they all appear straight? Are there any missing areas on the grid? Okay, cover the other eye please. Same again. Can you see the spot? Keep looking at the spot. Do you see all four corners of the grid? And again, using your side vision, do you see any distortion 
to the line. Any holes or missing parts? Thank you. Okay, I'm moving on to colour vision now. You can do this with both eyes open. I'm going to show you an object with a break in the object. You can point to where the break is or say top, bottom, left or right. All right. Is the first target point towards the break or say where it is? Next one. Sometimes there may be two breaks. All the brakes are on this one now. Good, please keep going. Just a few more to go now. This is your final one to identify, please. Where is the break? Thank you. Let me take some notes there. Okay, ophthalmoscopy, reviewing optic nerve and macula. Both eyes, optic nerve, pink and defined. Vessels at margins, estimate CD ratio to be 0.4 right and left, nice pink hue to optic nerves, in terms of maculae appear flat, now pigment irregularities, bright foveal light reflex present right and left, Amsler test at approximately 33 centimeters. Now reported distortion to lines and now apparent signs of scotomas. Okay, so just facing me, I want to try some head movements. Let's just observe first. Symmetry, good. Okay, I want you to lift the head back. Tune into the chest. Turn the head left. Turn the head right. I want head to shoulder. 
as far as you can and head to the other shoulder. Good. Right, facial expressions now. I want you to give me a frown and a smile, please. Okay, puff out the cheek. and give me a stern look lovely let's move on to some facial sensations okay I want you to close the eyes I want you to feel for this sensation when you feel it just say yes please Open the eyes and relax, that was very good. Head movements, no apparent restrictions. Facial expressions full and present, including frown, smile, puffing out of cheeks and stern serious expression. Facial sensations full and intact, including forehead, temples, maxilla, a mandible, and the orbital regions. Okay, it's time for a taste test now. I have three samples. I'll place a drop on the tongue. Please identify whether it's a sweet, bitter, salty, or sour taste. Keep the eyes open, just place the tongue out please. One drop there. Okay, the next sample please. And the third. Okay, sample one, good, sweet. Two, sour. Three, bitter, excellent. That's the taste test completed, very simple one. Okay, let's move on to the ears and hearing first. I want to have a look inside the ears for any potential pathology. And then we'll check some hearing. Okay, just turn slightly this way. Look into the ear canal. Medial portion, lateral portion, tympanic membrane. Excellent. Turn this way now, please. Externally good. Focusing on the canal. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to 
battering this tuning fork, placing it on the forehead. Tell me whether you hear the sound more on this side, this side, or whether it's equally balanced, please. And we'll do it a couple of times. Cool, good. And again, please. Excellent. Now I'm going to place it behind the ear. Tell me when the ringing stops. And the other one. Identified three samples sweet, sour, bitter, without any errors. Performing otoscopy, ear canals appear clear and healthy to the pearly white tympanic membrane, right and left. No evidence of tympanosclerosis, either ear. In terms of hearing, Weber and Rin tests performed. Hearing within normal limits, no concerns. Conclusion, patient will be advised to have sight test with optometrist in the next week or two for vision checks. Okay, I hope you enjoyed your cranial nerve examination. As I dictated there, I want you to book in to see your optometrist for a sight test, I felt the vision was a little bit reduced using the near Snellen test. But other than that, I'm pleased to say your cranial nerves are working fine.